What's up guys, Groovy Guitar Dude here with a beginner guitar lesson for Beg by Jack and Jack. If this video helps you out, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and let me know in the comments below what other songs by Jack and Jack that you want to learn on guitar. The first thing you need to know to play Beg is that we're gonna have a capo on first fret. The next thing you wanna know for Beg is the two chords we're gonna need to play this song. The first one is G, and the next one is C. And guys, this song is pretty straightforward, simple. We're just gonna be working back and forth between that G and the C through the whole entire song. But I'm gonna show you a few options that you have to just fancy it up and make it sound a lot like the song. So the first thing we can do is in the beginning, what we can play is just a single down strum per chord, but we're gonna play two of them. So basically we're gonna be on G for two counts and C for two counts. We're just gonna hit a single down strum per chord. I'll show you what I mean. We're gonna hit this and then wait and then G again. And then we're gonna drop down to C wait, and then C again. In between there, what we can do is we can add what's called chucking. If you don't know what chucking is, you're gonna just mute your strings with this hand in between each one, and then you're just gonna go. It's not too important what you're doing over here on this side as far as the strumming goes. Basically what you're trying to do is just match the rhythm of the song. You can kind of get creative here. It's not really one specific thing fits all. It's just kind of just jam around on it. So when you add those two together, it'll look about like this. The next piece that we can add to that is this little walk up that plays between each one. Now, this is played actually on keyboard in the original song, so I'm just getting as close as I can on guitar, but it's pretty straightforward. So you have your G, and for your G, what we're gonna do is we're gonna play an open low E, second low E, and then we're gonna hit our third on low E into our G. It'll kinda look like this. Just like that. It's more of actually a hammer on to open, and then you hit your G. So you've got that one, that's gonna be your G one. And then you have your C1. The C1 is gonna be really similar. We're gonna do an open hammer on to second on the A, and then you get into your C chord from there. It's a walk up. So let's add that in with our combination. We're just gonna do that between before each one of our chords. So we're gonna go like that between each chord. So when you put all that together, it should look about like this. So guys, for the verses, that's pretty much exactly what it's doing. It's doing that little walk up and then single down strum and then chuck, 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 switch chord kind of thing. It's doing exactly that. But in the choruses and the bigger parts of the song, I believe the bridge also, what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna have that same exact thing. We're gonna do our walk up and then, but we're, when we get into our chord, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do this strum pattern, palm muted and then down, down, up, down, up, up, down, up twice for each chord. Same kind of thing, we're gonna walk up in between each time we go through that strum pattern. It's the same thing, we're just adding in that palm muted strumming rather than our chucking. So when you put all that together, it should look something like this. And guys, that's everything that you need to know to play Beg by Jack and Jack on guitar. As always, if you have any questions, you can hit me up in the comments below. I'm usually pretty quick getting back to those. And again, if this video helps you out, hit that subscribe button. I have about 420 other guitar and ukulele lessons on this channel, and I usually post three to five new guitar and ukulele lessons every single week. So if you're learning guitar or ukulele, there could not be a more perfect channel for you to check out. Guys, this is a cool song. I really like it because it's really simple, but if you want to add a little bit more complexity to it, you can by adding some of that palm muting in there, adding that little walk up on the G and C chords. It's just cool, it's a cool song. The video for it is awesome. I'll link that below, so if you're interested, check that out. I really like learning about like video editing and stuff like that. Obviously, you guys can see that these videos and stuff have some editing and that kind of stuff thrown in there, and the video for this, the editing is really cool in it. So if you're into that sort of thing, I'll link it below, you can definitely check that out. So guys, I hope you have a blast playing this song. Like I said, it's pretty easy, but it's really fun to play and can add a lot of different dynamics. I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see y'all soon.